My name is Tara Jones, and I'm a member here at UVC. I'm not like other Christians. I wasn't raised in the church. I was not welcome in the church. I was not attracted to the church for the majority of my life. Instead, I was repelled, disgusted even. My first contact with Christianity that I can recall growing up were these little cartoon religious tracts that showed God sadistically throwing people into hell for the pettiest of things such as thinking about baseball during a sermon. Growing up closeted in a southern city, I saw the church as the folks at city council meetings fighting against non-discrimination measures against me, demonizing me for liking rock music and Dungeons and Dragons. I was an outcast in my school. I would go on to read Hitchens and Dawkins and other atheist writers who pointed out the horrors that the Bible contained. But there is one thing that atheists and conservative theologians agree on, it's that God is intolerant and not very nice. But now I know that's not true. I'm a recent convert to Christianity. Since August of last year when I found myself here weeping tears of joy, there were numerous signs that pointed me here. Signs that all the things that had turned me away from the church, all my stereotypes and empirical certainties, were less than true. I was an atheist, but I had dabbled in the occult, looking for something to fill the hole in my spirit. It was during this time that I discovered that Gnosticism was a thing. While I do not believe in Gnosticism, it broke my stereotype that all Christians were the same, that they believed in the same things, that they had to be the same way. The second sign was seeing a video presentation put together by LGBT and allies where they empathic empathically described their love for the church and showed the amazing joy of being part of a community. It wasn't a religious pamphlet that changed me, threatening me with hell or damnation. It was seeing others living that gospel, showing compassion for their fellow persons. Today we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. What really had to happen for me to become a believer was to experience my own death and resurrection. There was the moment that I started to wonder if I might be transgender, that I would be better off presenting as female, and after experimenting wearing feminine coated clothing, saw myself in the mirror for the first time and knew for sure that that was who I really was. I had a mixture of a feeling of intense joy surging over me at seeing the face of the real me for the first time, while at the same time I was overcome by a feeling of dread and knowing that I was going to lose everything. I loved my partner, who was not supportive, my job, teaching in a conservative school district with no non-discrimination policy. And that was a rough year. The old dot me died a slow, slow death. I didn't go full-time right away. I had to play the part. But either way, it wouldn't be until I moved away to Chicago one year later that I knew what resurrection truly was. Upon moving to Chicago to live with my partner at the time, in addition to going full-time as a woman, I became church curious. I was alone in a new city where I knew no one. I was skeptical, but I gave it a chance. This church, Urban Village, showed me that the church was not what I had envisioned church as. A stuffy place full of people calling for my damnation, but rather a welcoming and wondrous place that cares for social justice. This was important to me as a visibly transgender woman. Yes, I converted well after coming out of the closet. It would become for me a refuge, not just tolerating me, but affirming me, backing me up, being my friend, my light in the darkest times that would be to come. I didn't choose a belief system. I felt as though that God brought me there, snatched me up when I least expected it. My family was more surprised by my conversion than my transition. Then one Sunday before school started back, I received a blessing along with all the other teachers and folks who worked at schools. I felt within me the spark I had felt when I was into the occult, trying to fill the hole in my spirit, but instead I now felt it as an overwhelming tidal wave. That was the hole filled at last, if only for a moment. And then I knew I was a Christian. And that is where I am now, finding a home in my church. I feel as though I'm being called once again. We have before us this paradise, this wondrous landscape of ideas and opportunities. Before I was deceived, I was told of it, but I had been made ugly by the sins of hubris and homophobia. There is so much greater and good about knowing God, about worshiping them, and a fellowship with other believers. I feel that going forward it is my mission to spread that joy with others. I want to show people that we are all loved. 
we are all wanted, and that all of us can die and come to life again, being reborn anew, as I did, and as he did. <laughs>